Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Caitlin, and today we are continuing the 100 Dragon Challenge. So, for today's prompt, this is a, I guess, mini series within the series that we are continuing. So I didn't really grab any screen grabs of anyone's messages, because we've kind of already established it. But basically today, I would like to do a, another one of the seven deadly sins. We have, uh, I think we've only done Lust so far as the first one. Uh, so today I wanted to do Gluttony. I thought Gluttony would fit really well with like a Halloween theme and I could make this one super creepy. So let's jump in and get this started. So first off, I knew I wanted to do kind of a more, uh, I guess, fat, big dragon and I wanted it to just have these really gnarly teeth and I wanted it to kind of fit the season. We are like right around the corner from Halloween and I thought we could make a really cool, creepy monster dragon combo, just this really big, grotesque, weird thing. Um, so I knew for sure I wanted big mouth, big teeth, lots of folds, lots of uh, skin going on. So I first thought of doing, uh, uh, I don't know what it's called. I bet there's a technical term, but like, I guess more of a mandible jaw with like two sides to it. Um, but then I also like the idea of having like two jaws. So they have, it has the main top jaw and then two bottom jaws. So then it has a bunch of teeth and it would just look really cool in like a, a horror game or movie. And I just really liked that idea. And then on top of it, just having these big giant mouths that were just open and like blood dripping out of it and like some uh, spit and other things. But then I took it even further and grabbed a little bit of inspiration from insects. And then it's called a water bear, which is a uh, organism that lives in the water. It's super small, but if you look it up, it's a very interesting looking creature. So I kind of combined those inspirations with like these dragon elements and uh, made it kind of insectoid. Like I was thinking of it having like uh, pinchers or like smaller tendrily arms up by its mouth. So then if you think about it, it's like shoveling food into its mouth. And I also decided to make it multi-mouthed. I mean, it's gluttony. It has to find a way to eat as much food as possible and just ingest and keep eating and eating and eating. So I thought, well, first of all, we can make it like a Cerberus dragon. It has like three heads. And then I put a mouth kind of on its back, similar to my Lovecraftian Monster Mash I did not too long ago. And then instead of just normal spikes, it just has teeth. It just has a bunch of intense, jagged teeth where spikes would be. So with my rough concepting figured out, it was time to jump in and sketch this. So first I did start the drawing off in a placement that I didn't like. Um, I felt that it basically the pose looked like it was too straight on. You were gonna lose a lot of the detail that I worked on figuring out in the rough sketch. Like you wouldn't be able to see the teeth on its back or like the ones I had planned on the side. So I just erased that entire pose and started anew. But with that, I accidentally offset the dragon a little bit too much to the right. I knew it was gonna have kind of more of a short stubby body, but I overcompensated and put way too much room on like the left side compared to how much stuff is on the right. I mean, it, it's kind of centered, but not really. I should have centered it more to more where the heads and torso are, since that's where the primary bulk of this creature is. So even with that kind of off-centering problem and everything, I just trudged along. I didn't really realize it till later, uh, but I added all the cool teeth and I had fun just figuring out these big giant mouths and like basically making the teeth as gnarly as possible, just putting them coming out of every little crevice in the mouth, like some closer to where the jaws connect and then trying to figure out where I wanted to put the little mandible things. And uh, it really started to come together with the inking. I feel I say this more than enough, but I really start to see the progress of a piece once I can lay down the final lines with the inking and it just looks so cool. Like I added like a forked tongue and the main one in the middle is the only one with the double jaw, which kind of makes it feel like middle head is like main boss, I guess you could say. And then the uh, two on the sides, it just one of them was a very different angle from the other two. Uh, and it gave a new perspective on the mouth. And I just, this thing looks so weird and creepy. It just has this insectoid slash 
weird parasite look to it, and I just love it. It is way over the top. I know I've been doing way more creepy stuff, and I'm completely happy with that. I love doing creepy art, and I don't do it as much as I used to, but I'm slowly getting back into it, and you guys seem to love it too. So let me know, I'd love to know as well. I think we did a poll on The Last Dragon on which one to do next, and I totally forgot to check that before I did this, but I wanna know what uh, Deadly Sin should I do next? I might creepify it depending on what it is. Gluttony was really like, it was just kind of a default for me to think about creepifying it. I'm like, this thing has to be creepy. It has to be grotesque. We got to make it gnarly and sick and cool. Uh, but the other ones, I think we have a lot more room for other interpretation, but I know there, there has to be a few that I could easily make also creepy. This one is just so easy to make creepy just because it's gross. It has all these big mouths and saliva and blood. And I could do so much with just like the idea of this thing nonstop eating and ingesting and being so gross. I also got some fun comments. I showed it to a couple more art friends while I was working and they're like, man, the little legs and body kind of remind me of like an English bulldog or like a cute fat rup like dog with all like the, the fat rolls and such. And I'm like, well, I mean, if this was dog sized, I feel it would be just as frightening as if it was dragon sized. I think either way, it would just be either an ankle muncher and it would just like tear the crap out of your calves and legs or if it was full size, it would just eat you in one go. And I feel I'd rather have that instead of slowly being eaten by my feet. I know that totally was a complete weird aside. I don't know why my brain traveled on that way, but something to think about depending on the size of this creature. And now it's time to get in and do the colors. So I wanted to pick colors that were reminiscent of hunger. So a lot of uh, fast food chains choose red and yellow and orange because they tend to make people hungry. Specifically, I think red is the top color for like hunger uh, and making people hungry and making a response to food. Uh, fun fact, so next time you go out and get some fast food, look at what colors they use for their logo and their decor and everything. I bet you will find most of them are in the red to yellow range. So with that in mind, I really wanted to highlight some reds and yellows. And I also wanted to make this thing pretty gross and do some weird fleshy colors for its body as well. So I primarily made the reds and pinks in the mouth. And then later on, I do add some little fun bits of blood. And then the body, like I said, I wanted it to be much more like a weird fleshy mass. And so I mostly leaned on those yellows and oranges and like a tannish pinkish palish color like a weird kind of i i really think if you guys look up water bear it will look exactly like what i was thinking when i was doing this because it's just this weird tan pale color that's super grotesque and makes it look really gnarly It's kind of funny, the head on the right, for some reason, reminds me of the Tasmanian Devil. I don't know if it's just the angle, or I know he had like a big jaw full of teeth, but that one specifically just kind of has a, a different vibe to it. Like the, the left one and the middle one feel like they're just gonna like bite the crap out of me. But that other one's like, hey guys, oh my God, look at this over here. It's just, I don't know. However I drew, drew his jaw and his expression is just a little different to me, or I'm just going crazy and, giving emotion to my creatures like this and making them feel like Looney Tunes for some reason in my brain. For sure this would not be on Looney Tunes. I'm having a lot of weird asides in this video. I'm like getting over a cold and like this week at work was really hectic. So you, you guys are getting this one on time and I'm planning on releasing my Wednesday video this Saturday instead because it's an Inktober video and I wanna make sure to get that one out uh, because it's like a halfway point one and then I have another one for the end of the month. So I just wanna make sure that I get them out timely and figure all that stuff out. But yeah, I've just been kind of going on weird asides for this video, cause this is also a weird dragon. And I don't know much else to talk about cause it's just this gross big flesh monster with big teeth and blood and 
like looks into your soul and looks like it would just eat you right up and it's it's creepy but i i think this is probably the creepiest dragon so far we've done in the hundred dragons we've had like the skeleton dragon and i think that's it i think that's the only one that could be kind of oh i guess you could say the radioactive one but Either way, I am excited to see what you guys do for gluttony. I think this leaves a lot of openings. The sins can be interpreted in so many different ways. So if you guys would like to take a stab at this or take a bite out of a gluttony dragon and try your hand at it, uh, what you can do is go on Instagram or Twitter and post with the hashtag KM100Dragons. But let's go ahead and look at your guys' coral dragons from last week. So there weren't as many entries this month, which is totally fine, um, but it was really hard for me to just pick two because you guys all did really good and I loved all your different diverse designs. It was, it was super tough, like so many cool designs. Duck Theorist, I liked that yours looks kind of like an Asian lung, but the hair that goes down the back of it is the coral. I think that's super cool and it has the little anemone, oh no, I'm doing it again. Anemone, an sea anemone. Anyway, it has that too with the hair. See, when I'm recording, for some reason, I can't say that word. But when I'm just out and about and doing my own thing, I can say it perfectly fine. I don't know what's up. But either way, I like your Asian lung style. And Yokai Juyusha? Juyusha? Yes. I probably butchered it. Uh, I really like the colors on yours. I like the green to yellow to red. And then I like the kind of swirly blue coral it reminds me of the brain coral i don't know if it's the same one but i do really like the design that you did for your dragon and again great work guys with your coral dragons like, like i said it made it hard you all did really great and so many interesting and diverse pieces and i can't wait to see what you guys do for the gluttony dragon please feel free to go like intense or grotesque you know i love that type of stuff and i would love to see all the different interpretation it doesn't have to even be just like this creepy bloodthirsty creature you can do whatever you want and just make sure to post it on twitter or instagram with the hashtag and i guess that's it for today so thanks for stopping by guys and i will see you in the next video and if you aren't already i would love if you hit that subscribe button i have new videos every week and i hope you guys are still enjoying the hundred dragon challenge because sure i really am like i really have been real loving doing like a dragon every week so thanks again guys and i'll see you all next time bye everybody